This video serves as a guide to aid in the identification of sargassum natans 1, sargassum natans 8, and sargassum fluitans 3. The first morphotype we'll look at is sargassum natans 1. This morphotype is identified by its long narrow blades and spherical bladders. Another identifiable characteristic of this morphotype is the presence of a spine located at the top of the bladder. Here is a close-up of Sargassum natans 1 where we can see the spine located at the top of the bladder. Next, we have Sargassum natans 8. This morphotype also has spherical bladders. However, these bladders do not have spines. Additionally, this morphotype has long wide blades when compared to Sargassum natans 1 and Sargassum fluitans 3. In this photo, we can see the spherical bladders with the absence of spines and the long wide blades. The last morphotype is Sargassum fluitans 3. This morphotype is identified by its oblong bladders which do not have spines. Another identifiable characteristic of this morphotype is the presence of spines located along the stem. The blades of this morphotype are generally shorter than both Sargassum natans 1 and 8, however, they are wider than Sargassum natans 1. It is worth noting that the branch density of Sargassum fluitans 3 may vary slightly from one sample to the next, where some samples appear more compact than others. Identification of Sargassum fluitans 3 should therefore be made from its key characteristics which are the oblong bladders and spines along the stem. For one last recap, we have Sargassum natans 1, Sargassum natans 8, and Sargassum fluitans 3. This brings us to the end of our video, and we hope this guide has been helpful.